This video demonstrates how to connect the NerdCax to your phone and perform mining operations. First, you need to prepare a mobile phone. If you're using iOS, remember to upgrade to iOS 18.5 or above. For Android, any version should generally be fine. Now, let's connect the hardware first. This machine is configured with a 12 volt 10 ampere per power supply. The maximum total power load is 120 watt. For safety, first connect this DC connector to the machine. Then plug the power cable into your power strip. Now the machine should light up. A QR code should be displayed on top. After the machine is powered on, open your phone's Wi-Fi settings. Find the Wi-Fi network starting with NerdX and click to connect. At this point, it should automatically redirect you. If the redirection fails, you can enter its fixed IP address in your router, 192.168.4.1. After entering the back-end interface, click the three dots in the top left corner. Click Setting to configure your Wi-Fi name. In the Wi-Fi Settings section, the first field is your username. The second field is your actual Wi-Fi name. Remember to match it exactly, including any punctuation marks. After setting your Wi-Fi name and password, scroll all the way down. Click Save. Click Reboot. Wait for the machine to configure and connect to your Wi-Fi. Now we see this interface which indicates it has successfully matched and connected to your Wi-Fi. Now, we'll use a computer to configure your miner's backend. After the machine successfully connects to the network, its IP address will be displayed at the very top of the screen. First, we must confirm that both the machine and the computer are on the same Wi-Fi network or router. Enter the IP address provided above into your computer's browser. This will successfully take you to the machine's backend interface. Since this is a solo miner, today we will find a solo mining pool. Following my usual practice, I go to mining pool stats to find Bitcoin. Then I look for pools that support solo mining. Viatc supports it. CK Pool supports it. Z Solo also supports it. Today, I'll use Lucky Monster to demonstrate how to connect to a mining pool. First, Lucky Monster is a pool that mines directly to a wallet address. So, we only need to prepare a wallet address. There's no need to register with an exchange. Let's see if this machine has a hash rate of 4.84s. Theoretically, it would take 4,265 years to solo mine a Bitcoin block. The solo address is here. Find the server node closest to you. Copy it. Go to the settings section. Paste the address into the address bar. Remember to copy the port number to the port field below. Remove the suffix. Remove the prefix too. For the username, simply enter your wallet address. You can add a suffix after it, like a dot followed by a name you want. The password can be anything. I recommend setting the voltage and power to default values when starting up. The fan has three modes. Set it according to your needs. Set the shutdown temperature to 90 degrees Celsius for now. Let's see how it performs first. Click Save. Then click Reboot. Wait for the machine to reboot successfully. It will then be successfully connected to your mining pool. After running for about 15 minutes, the hash rate reached around 4.8 or S. This also reaches the official rated hash rate. Now, copy your wallet address and go to the Lucky Monster website. Scroll down to find BTC. Enter your wallet address. Click Look Up. You can then see your machine's status in the backend. 
Woi Miner 4, 68th S. It is now solo mining. That concludes the setup tutorial for the NerdCax. If you have any questions or confusion, feel free to leave a comment in our Telegram group or channel for consultation. Also, everyone is welcome to visit our Woi official website or Telegram group to get the latest price discounts and updates daily. See you in the next video.